Hello and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is our character Scrubber. And what we're going to try and do today is get Scrubber some armour. I can make light armour using this armourer's bench, but I need lots and lots of leather. And that's proving a bit more tricky. Uh, but if I go into the main menu, I'm into Feats. And I've discovered that if I, if I press R1, I can actually go through and have a sort of closer look at some of these things and there's actually a search what's it there I don't think we need that one though but this I believe here is yeah the tannery so a tannery for pro processing hides into leather stretch hides so stretching hides allows thicker hides to be stretched onto two thinner hides so let's see if we can buy that and we've got that I think we've spent something anyway what else is there down here? Candle stubs. Let's, let's, let's buy the candle stuff. I can't. <laughs> Why can't I buy that? Right, it's level 11. Oh, perhaps I require that thing, whatever. I, yeah, I think I need a, a more advanced torch. That's what I need down there. What is this? Bracketed torch. Let's get that. No, I can't get that either. Now, what's this? Haven't I got that already? Okay, obviously not. So now I've got that fancy torch. I can get the bracketed torch, then I can get the candle. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to go cold on the idea, frankly. I didn't realize it would cost so much. Right, let's go and see if we can find this in the old menu now. And let's go over here. Down there. There it is. A tannery, and I need... Oh, my lord. 240 stone, 160 wood, loads of bark and twine. This is going to take me forever. Okay, I really do want some armour because when I finish that I want to go and try and tackle this giant crocodile I discovered over there. However, it's going to take me forever <laughs> to collect all this stuff. So I shall cut around it and see you on the other side. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Well, I'm just taking a bit of a break. What are my pick repairs? That's the ruin above my house. Some creepy fires going on. What happened? Oh, this bloody, uh, bloody torch went. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh. And the music. Okay, I'm getting dizzy from thirst now. Music is really sinister. It's very creepy out here at night. Okay, I've got to go get some water. See you in a bit. Right, well, I did it. I'm over encumbered. I got through the night, that was equally creepy as before. And I got attacked by a spider when I went too close to that cave. There's a cave down there full of spiders just behind me over there. But yeah, it's all quite unpleasant around here. <laughs> well, it's actually quite nice here. But I, I get the impression I'm surrounded by enemies I'm not aware of. <laughs> so now let's try and build this rotten tannery thing now. Uh... I must have everything. I must have all the wood, surely. Oh, I need more wood. Okay. Well, I'll come back in a minute. All right, back again. I've been creeping around like I've got dysentery or something. No enemies around. Let's go back. Let's have a look. Oh, creepy sounds. Go away. Come on. Now. It must, must be ready. Right. Tannery. Let's go, go for it. It's building, it's building. Oh, it's taking its time though. <laughs> I can just stand here, can't I? Oh, if anything comes for me now, I'm, I'm done for. The thing about being overburned is that, apart from moving really slowly, your stamina runs out really quickly. Oh, come on. What you doing? What's there? Right, still over encumbered. Where's my tannery? Where are you? There you are. Right, let's swap you out with that shield. It's fairly rubbish, isn't it? Come up. Oh, it looks. Oh, it looks very nice. I'll put it there. Ooh. This looks quite pleasant. Open it up. So I've got to put in 
what do I put in? I think I put in right bark hide time equals leather. Right, so I put all my hide in here by accident. Let's take it all. Well, not by accident. I thought that's where I made the leather. I didn't realise I needed a tannery. Let's get the hide in. I need some more bark though, I think. Is that bark? Yeah, a little bit of bark. Let's take that. Put it in there. And the hide. Take that. Put it over. And then R2, I suppose, is it? Oh, there we go. Sorry, it was L2, not R2. Right, so it's turning the, the tannin. Well, it's taking the tannin from the bark and using it to tan the leather. So that's one bit of leather. What's the other bit? What's this stuff? Hang on, let's, let's have a look. Oh, it's tar. Okay, that's interesting. So I've got two bits of leather. Oh, three now. Getting through the bark. So it looks like two bits of bark will do f four bits of leather, perhaps? No, just three. <laughs> Game's a bit stingy, isn't it? Right, well, I've got to get some more leather. Okay, well, I'll, again, I'll cut around this until I find something to kill. Oh, I need my shield back up again, really, don't I? Okay, well, I'll um, I'll go and find something to nobble. Alright, back at the oasis. Bam! There we go. I'm not really good at my range at the moment with this weapon. I always think I'm closer to it than I am. Right, so give me a little bit of hide. Give me a bloody head as well. Thank you, I didn't want that. Right, I think these big ones over here have got a lot of hide on them. Right, definitely don't want to go down there. That's where the big crocodile is. And I want to get past a crocodile. Or at least try to kill it or something. Because I think it's guarding a treasure. Oh, come on. Superba. Well done, Scrubber. Getting better at this. Lots of flesh, head, hide. Lots of hide. Now let's get back to the old pike, which I like the old pike. I like her animation when she gets it out. There's usually another antelope around here. He said. Can't see nothing. Right, let's go and find another one. Now there aren't crocodiles down there, so perhaps we can tempt a small one out. Right, there's another kudzu thing. Okay. Don't want to rouse the ire of the large crocodile. There he is, I can't get to him now. Where's the other little crocodile? There he is. If I can attract the little crocodile to come and get me. Keep an eye on the big one. God, he's horrible, isn't he? Look at him. Is he asleep? Do you think I could sneak around? Because really, there's, there's something, I think, behind him. Or is that just a rock? No, it looks like a box, isn't it? What do I do here? Alright, I haven't got a high enough level. Crap! Well, I'm sort of glad I didn't bother now. Ah! Oh. Now let's go back. What was the other option? What was the other option? Come on, you bastard. Not let me do anything now. Just say I'm not high enough. Well, there's a little baby crocodile then. Oh, I won't kill it. Come on, run, run. Do you know, I'm wondering whether. Because. Hang on, I'll show you. If I go to attributes, there's accuracy, and I thought 
that this just applied accuracy just apply to projector weapons like arrows and spears but I'm wondering if, if everything is affected by accuracy <coughs> yeah but it just says ranged weapons doesn't it crippling shots of the bow trick shots steady hands right it's a shame I thought I could perhaps blame my poor martial skills on the accuracy all right okay there's a croc down there let's try and get down Get some water. Perhaps kill that croc. We can. Okay. Yeah, I want you though. Oh, well, there's two of them. Right, run away. That's it. Come to mama. Right. Whoa, run away. Stamina. Back off. Both fairly weak now. Back off. Oh, I thought they're both dead. Come on. Got a stamina. Hee <laughs> hee. Good, excellent. Well done, Scrubber. You're doing brilliantly. Feral flesh. Boom. Crocodile head. I've got so many bloody heads on me now. Fangs. Oh, I thought I might get some hide out of you guys. Jeez. Obviously not. Well, that was a pain. Right, back at the campsite. I have to get some more bark. And you get bark by hacking down trees with the picture with the pickaxe. Unfortunately, I've chopped down all the trees near me. And they haven't regenerated yet. So let's go and get this. All I need to do is make a piece of light armour just to get that journeyman point. Come on, tree. Get the bark out of this. So I'll gather this up, make a piece of light armour, and think about what to do next. Because this episode I was going to do a fight with that crocodile, but it looks like I won't now. Oh, I want some bark. We good? Yeah, these animal heads I've been collecting, you can't really do much with them apart from make decorations, it seems. I've seen some perks that allow you to mount heads, stick them on the wall. It's oh, I always need that. Yeah, dragon sounds. I think I'm going to get to the point where I ignore the dragon sounds, and that's when the dragon comes and gets you. Let's top this up again. Oh, it's doing its business now. You can hear sort of chittering sounds as well, like there's spiders coming, but they never do, unless you get too close to the mouth of their cave. What I might do actually is not do that. What we might do is explore. Oh, we've we've been down the river here, haven't we? Is that the the oasis we keep going to? It probably is, isn't it? Where can we go? Where can we have a bit of an explore to? How about heading off down here? Perhaps get to this island and see what that's like. This looks interesting too, doesn't it? Come down. Open the tannery. Is it still still doing its stuff? Hang on, where's, where's my leather? Oh, there it is. Six bits of leather there. I'll take those. Oh, right. Okay, so... I've got enough bark, but I haven't got enough hide to do any more. I think it takes three bits of hide to make one bit of leather. I'm assuming that's what, what it does. Let's open this up. Let's put my leather in there. Where, where is that? Oh, I've got some putrid meat. There's the leather. Take that over there. What can I make now? I just need a piece of light armour. 
A hat would be nice. Oh, jeez, that needs 18 thick leather. Leg lining, 28 leather. Oh, bloody hell. What can I do with six? Oh, real bargain basement stuff. Okay, this from me. <laughs> This heavy helmet requires heavy helmet padding, iron bar, leather and horn. Oh, I need hide and twine for that. Used up all my bloody twine. Gloves. Sorry, used up all my bloody hide. Um, okay, I can make a medium boot lining, it seems. What's this? Light turban. Light helmet padding. Where's the helmet padding? Is that it? I could have made light helmet padding with the bloody hide I had. I can make some underpants. Oh, this is discouraging. Well, that is annoying. Um, I could have made myself some light chest padding, which I, I don't really need, I don't think. But I used up on my hide. Okay, what we're going to do is go back in here and we're going to go on a long hunting expedition. Let's dump some uh, bits and pieces. All right, spider. Come on. Oh, you tough old bastard, aren't you? Come on. I'm using a hatchet here. Change the level. Oh. All right, feral flesh and gossamer, great. Yeah, so far I've killed two rabbits and a spider. All right, let's carry on. Right, my torch gave out, but I had a look at the recipe for that improved torch that I bought. And you can actually make an improved torch using coal, believe it or not. So let's go and get some coal. Okay, what's going on? Oh, bloody spiders! Piss off! Right, okay, my health is right down. I didn't realise how bad my health was. I'm going to go over here. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Right, running away. Running away. Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Bloody spiders. I hate the spiders. Eat something, girl. Come on. And a stamina. What's it doing? I want my pike. Come on. Oh, you bastard thing. Oh, it's my fault though for not watching my bloody health. Rotten bloody objects. Right, more antelopes over here. That's the way to do it! Well done. Whoops. Don't have my own strength. I've got a little bit of a hide. Oh, all this looks a bit sinister, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Can we uh, activate something here? I don't like it, is it? What is this? Oh, people! Run away! Come on. One more. He's down. Oh, very balletic. Alright, got back in one piece. I almost got another deer. I definitely got another rabbit though. It's quite fun. Let's see what we can make in here then. Alright, so I've just put my hide in here. Let's have a look what we've got. Heavy chest padding. We don't want that. We want the light chest padding. So hide and twine. Let's make some twine. Let's come out of here. Uh, oh, wrong one. Make a bit more twine. Make lots of that. Come back. Hopefully this will level me up a little bit. Is this the twine? Take all that. Do I, is that enough? Yeah, okay, let's get going. Um, 
crafting queue. Excellent. There we go. Wait a few minutes for that to do its business. Right, let's let's do it. Well, I've got to put that on my torso. Oh, look, the clothes run out. Look, the to the clothes wear out. That top I've got has only got about a third of its life left. Let's let's swap that out. Unequip and then pick that up. Is that not working? Do I have to unequip that as well? Can I get that on there now? Come on. Why is that not going on? Why can I wear that? One eternity later. Oh, I think I figured it out finally. The padding that I made is actually padding for the light armor. I thought the padding was armor in itself. Because you do get this um, padded armor in history. I can't remember if it's called Gambian or something like that. Anyway, I needed lots more hide as it turned out to make some light armor. So I wear the padding underneath and the light armor on the top. So I've just spent about half an hour, it seems, killing loads and loads of antidote, antidote, antelope. But I've got loads of hide now. So let's stick this in here. Open that up. Yeah, look at all that stuff. Move that over. Then we find our... That's heavy. Is this the light stuff over here? Yeah, the light chest piece. So I've got my padding, I've got the hide. Let's craft. Wait for a few moments, and this will complete another one of our journey points and hopefully level us up again. Oh, so much, so much grinding though to, to get really quite basic with cereals. And I think once I get a skinning dagger, that that'll I think that will probably double the efficiency of my harvesting. Because some of these antelope you kill them and they don't have any hide at all. Others have quite a lot, but you're never quite sure. So let's have a look. Yeah, let's take that. Come out. Uh, no, we don't want that, do we? Now let's get rid of this torso thing here. And equip. Uh, put the armor on. Where's the armor? Where's the armor? That's not it. That's the padding. No, no, sorry, that's that's what I've just taken off, isn't it? Oh, there it is, there it is, come on. Quip! There we go! I've done it! Wow, that looks really good. Well, alright, isn't it? I mean, it's not Gucci, but it'll do. Right, and I don't think I did get any level up from that. So what have I got to do now? I've got to obtain an iron bar, block an attack, use a skinning dagger to skin an animal. Well, I think that's the next thing, isn't it? Actually learning how to forge iron. Uh, because then I can make a skinning dagger and that will speed things along considerably. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. I think uh, I think Scarborough looks very nice in a new outfit. <laughs> it's certainly showing her off, isn't it? Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope we'll come back for some more. And until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.